up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Show. Brian, we are going to discuss the, the the titles at D23 that showed footage for the people that were there um, and trailers that they've already released for some of these titles. Some are very, very interesting. I'm very excited to talk about Werewolf by Night. But first... Mm. Loki season two, they showed some footage of uh, season two, Brian, which I'm very excited for. I think the Loki season two is gonna has it has a high bar because the first season was dope to me. I think it's still number one, Brian, still number one. Um, so let's see if they can keep it going, Brian. Um, they showed more of Kang, right? What what was what was the any of the description that you heard about um, Kang's appearance in, in the, the the what what was it not a trailer it was a, a footage yeah, you call, you that call they showed it there. A, you know, it was like a scene um, yeah footage yeah 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 it wasn't a full fledged trailer but kind of like what, what I read was creepy Kang um, so in this one apparently like Kang pops he like. He basically like he's I don't know he's like his face or he's hiding behind a wall and like Loki kind of like surprise reveals him to to, to Mobius um, and and he apparently he he looks he, I guess he looks different or he looks evil um, in this in this iteration relative to the one we saw in the season one finale um, and, and in, Loki and, makes, in Qu- and in Quantum Mania and in Quantum Mania right, right and so and then lo- remember in this part of well in this part of the multiverse mobius has no prior knowledge of loki or his experience in season one so loki apparently is describing to this mobius all of the things he's experienced kang doing or all the things he's seen but as we left season one we know that in the new mobius part of the multiverse this kang he's now like he's now the the timekeeper like he's actually front and center public as a timekeeper because it's his statue that's up there and his face that's being shown so yeah yeah, that was the vibe people said it was kind of like a little more of a horror vibe a little more of a creepy vibe um and then we've also seen this will be again a little this might be a little bit more of a period piece because i guess there's been some i have seen some set photos of hiddleston wilson sofia di martino um like they're they're dressed in more like i guess earth garb from I don't know, 70s, 80s, I'm not sure what decade, but it seems like the time jumps and like where they are, uh, it's not purely cosmic, which is kind of what it was uh, in, in season one, the way they're going to, you know, kind of the, the, the different parts of the universe we had never seen before. So definitely seems like a different vibe, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think this show would yeah. do, would not be successful if it just replayed the hits from season one. So it seems like they're going for something different. Um, I think reason for hope is they they're changing directors, um, but the Moon Knight guys are directing most of this, and I thought they did okay. a pretty good job with Moon Knight in terms of that show. I think we both liked that show maybe more than the consensus, but I thought the direction was good in that show. So they're actually handling the camera for this one. So you could argue, I can say, Brian. They did a good job with Moon, Moon Knight, but you had a fantastic performance in Oscar Isaac. I think that's true. I don't know who's who was the who who was who in that situation, right? Um, I, I don't know how big Kang's part in this, but if you got Hiddleston and you've got Jonathan Majors in this series, if he's actually in this series as a different iteration of himself. I would think you have a formula right there for some pretty pretty powerful acting. And I mean, the Owen Wilson character landed against all odds. I did not think that character would work as Owen Wilson, but he pulled it off. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and you're getting you're getting Kihai Kwan, my guy, short oh, round, and yeah. from the Goonies, <laughs> from, and now for more recently, That's everything, it. everywhere, all at once, he is joining He's the show in a, a comeback, comeback, yo. Wow. <laughs> wow. He has a story to tell. I can't wait for whenever he's in a, sitting at a, at a podcast or whatever and talks about his life because it, that the comeback is like 
he's never been, I think, oh, more famous than he is right now. I think. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's causing a lot of people to revisit Temple of Doom and Goonies and remember that he was a child star a long time ago, um, in in some of the classics. So yeah, no, that was kind of a that was sort of like one of those like out of, out of nowhere. Um, casting news that I was like, oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually yeah, pretty yeah. cool, and I'm interested. Yeah. So, Loki, season two. Uh, cannot wait for Jonathan Major's performance in that. How different he's going to look, how different he will be from... I mean, is that coming out? Well, no, Quantumania is coming out first. Yes, correct. So, correct. it'll be very interesting to see how different he plays this version of Kang. That's this is gonna be. Uh, I'm I hope Jonathan you, Majors has points in his contract. You think? I I, I think he, he better. Yeah. He better because if this works, if this works, he should be getting Tom Cruise's deal from Top Gun. <laughs> like, because it it, it it can't work unless he's great and he's literally everywhere as different yeah. characters. I mean, this yeah. is like heavy heavy lifting. I don't think we've ever yeah. seen an actor really do this before. I know, and, and Marvel has said it. You know, he's 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 taking the MC on his back right now. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, let us know in the comment section what you guys think of Loki season two. Um. Speaking of Kang. Let's let's continue on uh, the same route here with uh, Ant Man and, and Quantum Mania. Brian, they showed. I don't know. If, I think I don't know if I saw it leaked or there was an actual teaser trailer for this. It wasn't made public, but yes, it's the second piece of footage that's been released. There was some at Comic Con and there was some here at D twenty three, but nothing nothing public yet. I wonder if maybe Wakanda Forever we see. We see a quantum media trailer attached. I hope so. I hope so. Um, but from what I saw, because I saw some of it. Oh. And you Brian, I did not. You know, I've been saying this for a minute that quantum mania is a huge film. It's a huge film. Because well, I think one of the things that excites me about this, Brian, is that you're dealing, being in a different environment. You're not going to be like in Earth. You're not going to see familiar things. You're going to be in a new space, in a new place, mm -hmm. talking about different tech. And, and it's just going to be refreshing, I think, when we first see Quantum Mania. Because it's, 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 it's going to be so new. The characters are going to be, some of the characters are going to be the same. We'll see how much they've evolved, right? Um, but Kang, have I killed you before? That I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> and already knowing the answer, yeah, probably. <laughs> I think he said, I, I think the follow up, I think they said, um, he said, uh, um, eventually they all die. <laughs> I think he said, eventually <laughs> they all die, but Brian. Quantum Mania, I think, is going to be a huge film, and I'm 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 willing to say right now, I think if the reviews are right, if this is anywhere above eighty, we're going to see a billion dollar movie for Quantum Mania. I mean, it's definitely going to be a major step up from the five hundred to six hundred million they've been running, just with the scale. The thing that excited me, the, the little snippet I guess I read about at least a piece of the storyline, is Kang manipulating Scott Lang into working for him because he's holding his his daughter hostage. I was like, I'm in. I'm in. That's what I'm talking about. Bad guys oh. doing bad stuff, you know, and making the hero go sideways. That's what we're talking about. It's going to be almost like I almost uh, uh, made the parallel to um, Jules and Vincent going to retrieve something and we don't know what it is. He's going to go retrieve something for Kang, and we may not know what it is until the end. I don't know. But it's, this is going to be, oh, my God. He's sending Scott Lang for it. Yeah. But it's, right, like, think about it. Like, as you said, we don't know what it is. But 
that could be something critical to Kang Dynasty. That could be something that is disastrous for the Avengers and for the world. And if you're Scott Lang, that raises like the emotional stakes of like, well, what was I supposed to do? Like, I'm a dad in that situation. I'm going to protect my little girl, even if it means I have to steal something from the quantum realm that's wow. potentially, you know, harmful to the world. Like, I love that stuff. I love that kind of conflict for the hero. But and, do you, you know, see, Brian, the, the newness of this? Do you see that? Do you, you see yeah. the newness of this? Of where is he going to go? It's going to be somewhere new. He has to really think about how he's going to do this. He's supposed to be like the, one of the greatest thieves or whatever the case may be. He's supposed to be a pro at it. And mm. now he's being sent by Kang, who seemingly is pow all powerful, right? He's like, he's, he's conquered Earth and, and, and all these different things. He's, he's a conqueror and he's asking somebody to do something he can't do. That's interesting to me, Brian. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, Quantum Mania, do you think it's going to hit a billion? Brian. If you think, see, yeah. I, if you once you see what I saw, you're gonna be so like, yeah, my, 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 my one hesitation. My one hesitation with this is, in fairness, because we used to always talk about a billion, is it doesn't seem like China is going to be showing any of these movies anytime soon. And that, in fairness to Marvel, like that was two hundred plus million dollars for their better films. Yeah. So like to do a billion now without that is basically like saying what we were doing one two before. Yeah. Uh, I, I feel confident in saying this will be above 850. I think that's kind of like my threshold for it. And that, you know, X China would be a, basically a billion dollar film. Um, but yeah, I'm really optimistic. I mean, like Peyton Reed's done good stuff. Like, like we talk about Marvel struggling with comedy. These movies have actually done a good job with it. Like, oh, I will say, if you want to. Yeah, and I don't know if Michael Payne is coming back, but I think one of the funniest things they do is when he does his little like monologue bit rapid fire. That's funny. It's not overdone. It's that's funny. comedy. That's when comedy, yo. Yeah. <laughs> so if he does that once with Kang, I will I will enjoy it. <laughs> if they leave if they do one sequence with Kang messing with them and he does that in that shtick, I'm I'm good. But anyway, so yeah, oh, I, I'm very optimistic God. for this film. Yeah, yeah, me too, man. I, uh, Quantum Mania is going to be some is one is going to be one that uh, is going to be one of the favorites. I'll say that. Uh, that's the hope, anyway. And something that we I, I wasn't expecting to see. Werewolf by Night is something that we've talked about for some time. We didn't know. I didn't know. Um, what this would be, what this would look like. And Brian, I have to say, um, I am very excited to see this. And how I'm going to watch it in the dark. Yeah, there you go. Big TV. Get the, 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 the family members next to me, my, my wife and my son who loves Marvel. My, my youngest will probably have to sit this one out. But this is the sort of thing I think you 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 have fun with, and uh, I think it's gonna be dope. It looks cool. I was not expecting the Hitchcock, you know, Bella to go see nineteen thirties horror sharp black and white look. I was like, Marvel gets criticized for the visuals lately, but I actually thought this looked cool. I was yeah, like, I was yeah, not yeah. I was not expecting this. And so, yeah, I think you're right. As a self-contained, like, I actually don't think this is going to go huge places. I know the comics Werewolf by Night has connections to much broader storylines. I actually think this looks a little more self-contained to me when I saw the motif. I was like, I think they really just want to do a, they could bring the character back, but I think they want to do something that's like a horror, a classic thrills and chills horror motif for Halloween. And I was yeah. surprised by both the look, but I was also surprised by the intensity. This looked scarier or potentially scarier in parts than i thought they would be willing to go uh, this didn't look like it was for young kids this definitely looked like it was for adults who have seen their share of old <laughs> old time film um uh, weren't the tva in it 
think they were actually. You're right. They were shown. So maybe maybe there are more connections. So I, I, I just I just wonder in what capacity they're going to be what what they're what they're doing. That's going to be really interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm look. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people looking forward to seeing uh, this this uh, this show. It's just one movie, right? It's just yeah. It's just one special. A uh, couple of weeks before Halloween, I think it's like October seventh or eighth, somewhere around there. Right around the corner too. Um, yeah, Brian, I, I I can't say anything more about it because it's it's one of those things we just have to wait and see um, how this. Um, is received when it finally comes out. We've criticized the experimentation, you know, that Marvel has done in some ways, but this is, this is done. This looks like a good use of that, of saying like we're going to take a Marvel character exactly. and we're going to take a classic cinema look and we're going to mix them together and try to make something original for you to see. I am all for trying that. Yeah. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Werewolf by Night. What did you guys think of this look, this feel? Are you going to see this by yourself? Are you going to see it with a bunch of people using some popcorn in the dark? That's, this is the type of thing that you, you do that and gather around and watch and, and have fun with. So uh, let's see if this is going to be successful. Hopefully it, it doesn't become too successful where they're doing it again and again and again. You know? Well, so, it, 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 Exactly. If this was a show with like eight episodes, I actually would be less excited. The fact that it's like a one-off special for the season, I'm Perfect. more excited. It reminds me of that one episode of Star Wars Vision. The very first episode. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. No, that's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. But that, I, Brian, I would have wanted to see more of because that was amazing. <laughs> that's the only one I've seen. That's the only one I need to see. Uh, I, I go uh, yeah. back to watching that, that episode series, every once in a while. That series got that series took a fair amount of critique, but I liked what they tried there. Like that was like at least a valid. Let's tur let's turn some creators loose in the Star Wars universe and see what they come up with. And yeah, it was uneven. And I agree yeah. with you. The lead off was probably the best. But yeah, no, I applaud. I applaud the effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 